Hi I am Professor Tom Rogers. My presentation today will be about security cameras, as a factor of disturbance. Technological progress has made such surveillance and control methods possible, which would appear as science fiction a couple decades ago, satellites, electronic chips, internet databases, and so on. However, the progress goes faster than consumers and government agencies are able to adopt and accept the novelties, and thus conflicts regarding privacy and the rightfulness of control methods can arise. One of the most debated issues at current is, whether or not surveillance through security cameras has negative effects on the public. Though the so-called crime cameras have proved themselves, to be an effective tool, for fighting street and organized crime, Concerns about their wide use still remain. Nancy Lavin, the director of Chicago's Justice Policy Center, says camera systems are often believed to be violating citizens' right to privacy when they are used to identify non lawbreakers. Though there are rules limiting cameras' possibilities, for example, they should not be able to pan, tilt, and zoom in order not to look into the windows of the apartment buildings or backyards. How can one be sure they are not watched, and these rules are observed? Surveys through charts and diagrams show that about 23% of us citizens tend to believe security cameras violate their privacy. The opponents of surveillance also stress the fact, how security cameras can evoke negative emotions in citizens, make them feel being constantly watched and controlled. This refers both to adults, who already have an established system of views on the state, the government, and the society, and the children, who are in the process of developing such a system. A senior policy analyst for the American Civil Union, J.C. Stanley, thinks, Constant surveillance, from the time children enter school to the time they leave, teaches the wrong thing about the relationship between the citizen and the government in a democratic society. Stated succinctly, children may believe the state has a right, to interfere in private lives of its citizens and being under control and surveillance is a norm. Citizens sensitive to civil liberties can find the surveillance through cameras extremely uncomfortable and stressing. Usually, these are people who are extremely passionate about the privacy of their lives, or about their personal security. The proponents of left-wing political and conspiracy theories also tend to treat surveillance cameras negatively, as a tool of the state oppressing its citizens. Also, People with physiological disorders, for example those with paranoid tendencies, can display severe disturbance about the fact of being watched. Though surveillance cameras are meant to help to protect citizens from street and organized crime, and are an effective tool of monitoring, there exist several issues concerning privacy and ethics. About 46% of people in the USA believe that security cameras is necessary to prevent terrorism. I still remember when a journalist asked President Barack Obama if he accepted being and his family watched in the White House. Obama smiled and nodded. Regardless to the president opinion, the Americans are loudly asking, are we being watched?